in our tamiki style, we have some butterflies. And what we call a butterfly is just using both hands to do outside, up, inside. And can you do stuff with one hand? Sure. This is just another way to look at it. When you've got two hands, come here just a second, Brad. Uh, what the butterflies to do is to actually pass this to the other hand. You know, one of the ways to practice it is, you know, maybe you're at the house, you've got a can of corn, and you just throw it back and forth a little bit, and you can figure out what's going on. But it's, it's like an outfielder's glove. If I've got all this, it's very hard for me to miss. And I'm going to start turning this arm into this hand, so it changes the angle of this up. So when he ta attacks, I'm going to make an evasion step and do that at the same time and watch this side of his body collapse. Now, because of, come back here a second, because of this arc, you see him already start dropping. You know, now we're doing this in movement, and it just throws him into a situation that it's very difficult to get out of it. And in this particular technique, I try and touch him, and he jumps back, and then comes back forward, and then I go out from under him. But the big thing is how to do the butterfly and what it's doing to his body. And you see how it's already collapsing. He's got to really try to stand up. And if he does, he's got a little bit of this, which when it comes forward is, has got, I'm not going to go back because I'm already off the screen a little bit. Uh, when it goes back and comes forward, it doesn't take anything to pull him because he's gone that way. I'm gonna show. Come back. I'm gonna show one thing to show you why some of this stuff works. No, uh, bend over. When he stands up, he's having trouble right now. It doesn't take anything. Do it again. That's the motion that we're using when he attacks, and I go, and he comes back. I've taken him a little further than what he wants. He wants to maintain balance, but because it's gone from here backwards, he doesn't get to maintain his balance. Uh, in the butterfly, I, I'm getting offline, so if he fell that way, I'm not in, in the way. I can't let him fall on me or I'm going to be in trouble. So I'm taking my evasion step, and then I'm taking another evasion step out of the way. I'm giving him holes to fall into, but I've got to wait for his momentum to go to the right places. But this little motion where it doesn't take anything to, to rotate it, it doesn't take anything to, to help him go. He can't stop right there at the top. He can't go magically go, Up. Once he starts up, if you keep it going, it keeps going. And if he does stop it, he's got to put an awful lot of effort into coming back, which you'll have plenty of time for something. <laughs>